In the digitizer, there are numerous tools that allow you to adjust the items that you have drawn. Remember in Stamp, Flip, Rotate, and Move a selected item. Let's start with Remember and Stamp, which is similar to Copy and Paste. This function allows you to select one or more items on the page and stamp it to a different location so that you can use a copy of it again without having to redraw it. To use this feature, start by selecting the items that you wish to remember or copy. Here we've selected the floor container on the page and its associated items. Over in the takeoff items list, you can see which items have been selected by the selection indicators. Once you've determined that you have all of the items that you want to remember or copy, you can come to the toolbar and choose the Remember function. By clicking the Remember button, you are telling the program you want to remember or copy all of these selected items. The next step is to stamp or paste those items on the page but you'll have to specify where those items are to be stamped by indicating a reference point. Let's say that we want this corner here to be pasted here and everything else relative to it. So next, we'll click the stamp button and notice that it's asking for a registration point. So we'll click in the corner of the selected area and come over to the corner where we want it to be pasted and click and now the items have been stamped or pasted on the page. And if you're watching the takeoff items list, you'll notice that no new line items were added. Instead, all of the new material that you pasted on the page was simply added to the existing materials, and so the quantities and amounts have been updated. Also notice that all of the pasted items are now still selected, allowing us to make other adjustments to them. For example, if we wanted to use the rotate feature, we can click the rotate to the right and our entire selection rotates or rotates to the left. In addition, we can also choose to flip our selection or to mirror it. So here we'll flip it horizontally and now it matches the blueprint on the page more correctly. We can also choose to flip things vertically this direction or apply the function again and put it back. You can also choose to move a selection of items. Let's say for example that this container that we pasted, though it's close to the right spot, everything needs to shift a little bit to the right. So with everything still selected, we click the move button and then we click a point relative on the container, like right here in the corner, and we slide over where we want that corner to be. And as we do, the entire selection is shifted over to the right. The same concepts for flip, rotate, and move can all be applied to a single or multiple items that you have selected on the page. To finish, let's talk about how you can remember and stamp something to a different page. First, you would select all of the items that you want to copy and paste to another page. Click the Remember button, and then go over to the Pages list and navigate to the page that you want to paste or stamp those items to. Notice over in the Takeoff Items list that the default pack has been set to Upper Floor. This means that when we go to stamp our items on the page, they will all be added to the Upper Floor pack. So we click the Stamp button, and those items are placed on the page in the same relative position as they were on the previous page. So by making use of Remember and Stamp, Rotate, Flip, or Move, you can choose to manipulate or adjust the items that you've already drawn in the digitizer and save yourself time in the process. <laughs>